we we got to talk about somebody that that we like, but it might it might just be time to pull the plug. He's on live support as it is. But Syracuse went to Virginia Tech 41 to 36 winners and Syracuse is over. Post game win expectancy in this game was 82%. This was not a fluke. Uh, they did get a late touchdown. Virginia Tech was in the game, but they shouldn't have been. If you look at the stats overall, Syracuse won yardage 550 to 437. They won yards per play 7 to 6.8. They won third downs. They won drive points. They won rushing. Virginia Tech gave up 314 yards rushing in this game. Virginia Tech had one fourth down failure. There were no turnovers in the game, which was a little bit surprising, but. This, I mean, they gave up 21 points in the fourth quarter to Syracuse to lose the ball game. I, I don't know what to do anymore. If you are Virginia well, Tech, I mean, you, you got to make a change. The problem is, is where are you going now? That's the question. Who do you go get? I, the answer ain't Tony Elliott, by the way. No, no. <laughs> so there's a lot of people that that think that this is a really, really good job, and it is because they they I think, invest. I think it's a good job. They I think invest, it's an yeah, absolute good job. They invest heavily in their football program. They want to have a winning program, and, and I don't. I don't, I don't think that. I don't think that the the threshold of expectations is crazy. You just can't have losing seasons week in year in and year out. Like, damn! At like once every three years, let's compete for the ACC, but let's go to a bowl every year. Like that's not that's not outlandishly wild. Right now, they just want to be relevant. Yes. That's that's the biggest problem is that you're losing you're losing games at home to Syracuse. Dino yeah. Babers was on the hot seat to start the season, and it looked like there was no way that he was going to maintain his job. And instead, you got Sean Tucker out here doing his thing, uh, twenty carries for 112 yards. Hey, Garrett Schrader, that's the best transfer that that Dino could have possibly gotten for this offense well, yeah. for what he wants to run. Uh, what That's he right. did at Mississippi State, like he was somewhat impressive as a, ro- like a rookie, a, uh, a freshman, freshman at Mississippi State under Joe Moorhead, but I don't know that Moorhead necessarily knew exactly what to do with him. Dino knows exactly what to do with him. You run him 22 times for 174 yards and three touchdowns. Like He, he can run, and he can throw the football a little bit. He's not great, but 16 out of 34 passing, 236 yards, two touchdowns. Like Garrett Schrader is, is awesome. Like, well, you for, always for what play the is. hiring game. Who do you think they go get? Man, I... I legitimately have zero idea who they could too. possibly I mean, I, go I'm get. A, I'm in the same boat. Like, I just think. I, I thought Fuente think. was perfect. Like, I thought, I thought it was, was a perfect too. fit. And hey, can he come back to Memphis? Can Can we do like a Petrino situation where we hey, just come home? Just come home. I Look, I'll, I'll go pack Satterfield shit, Silverfield shit today. All right. When he gets into the office Monday, all his shit will be boxed up. It'll be ready to go. I, It'll be all right. I tell you this uh, i took the under eight on memphis's win total and and i'm that's already smart. gonna push that's <laughs> smart that's a, that's a hell of a that's a hell of a play yeah but they're, because they, they're not well so and so making this a little bit about memphis uh, because i don't have they're them bad. on the list so they lost 24 to 7 to ucf without their starting quarterback but also memphis didn't have their starting quarterback memphis was down to like their third string quarterback their starter for the season went out before the season even started and and he's still out and of course now seth hennigan who was playing really well as a freshman he was out for this game, but that's no excuse. I mean, you got to like Gary. The loss at Temple is when this thing all started. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You lose to that shit football team, you're done. You're yeah. done. I don't want your shit in my city ever again. Get so, out. so Virginia yeah. Tech. I mean, it, it maybe you you go. I mean, do you try and get somebody that's just serviceable? Like, would you would you try and just pay Mark Stoops more or like? I don't, and, and by its service, that's a total uh, disrespect card to Mark Stoops. I was just I about not to say that. Mark Stoops would be a hell of a hire for them. Hell I, don't yeah, know that he, I don't know that you leave Kentucky for that right now, which is a sad state to say where college football is going. But if I'm in the SEC, as hard as it is to win the amount of money coming into the SEC, I think if you have a fan base that loves you, your job is stable, and you're here, I don't know that you leave. You have to leave for a job that you think you can win a national title at. Uh, if you're going to leave stable, sta- stable might be uh, way way uh, undersaid there because he I- anytime he wins seven games he gets a year tacked on to his contract. Well, yeah. uh, anytime he wins ten he gets two years tacked on, and Correct. and I think they're going to win ten this year. So that's right. Uh, Casey said Mark Stoops staying at Kentucky, baby. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> that's great though. Look, I don't uh, hate that. I don't hate that at all. I love that guy. Uh, I love look, that guy, and I love him being in the SEC. 
Uh, Heartsick Disciple said Virginia Tech should definitely make a change. And he said oh, Syracuse, Syracuse can run the ball. Everyone knows that's so the surprise with Schrader making big throws. But that's not much of a surprise. Like, we've seen him do that all season. So the fact that Virginia Tech was not prepared enough for this, I mean, Syracuse had seven penalties for 45 yards in this game. Virginia Tech only had one penalty and still lost the game. One penalty, no turnovers, and lost the game to Syracuse. Virginia Tech just bad. They got out physicaled, completely out physicaled in this game. Like, I, I had this on the TV and was like, Syracuse is getting a push anytime they want. How is that possible? How do you allow that to happen? I just I cannot cannot understand how that even happens. And I got no idea. Maybe we'll talk about that a little bit on Tuesday about who Virginia Tech can go get. Uh, but I just I I have no idea at this point. I got no clue. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.